Hi Libras, thank you for viewing Searchlight Tarot. My name is Elena, I'm doing a general spread for you. I'm gonna look at your current energies, something you're recently going through. If it sounds like your situation, this is your reading. It is general, it's not going to resonate with everyone. Then I will be looking at opposing energies, person or situation you're dealing with. And then the energy is coming towards you in the next few weeks. All right, spirit guides, for the sign of Libra. Current energies or something they've recently gone through for the sign of Libra, please. What would you like to show me for the sign of Libra? Current energies hmm. or something they've recently gone through for the sign of Libra, please, that this reading is for. Thank you. What else do you want to show me for the sign of Libra? Anything else? Nope. Okay. End of the deck, I have, it always sets the pace for my readings. The Nine of Wands with Death showing up. And then I got the Chariot. <laughs> and then the Six of Swords going to Commerces because recently you've had a new truth, a new clarity from a broken heart. Something that hurt you. Underneath the deck, and then I have, uh, I feel that you're holding back a little bit too tight, maybe getting caught in your own thoughts here. Let's just see what's going on here. Okay, so death and the chariot, two big major arcanas about transformation and getting the will and determination to haul ass forward. With the six of swords, you are moving forward. You're putting your thoughts in a boat and recently or right now, you're just going off. You just don't even want to deal with, with it. And you have a new truth. You have the ace of swords. The ace of swords is about cutting things out with a new truth, a new clarity from something that has wounded you. I can see something hurt you. All right. To my left is the Page of Swords with the Three of Cups and going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, the Page of Swords is somebody uh, somebody's watching you. <laughs> Sorry. Somebody's still watching you, man. I got the two of coins with the three of cups. It's somebody who is, uh, just say what I'm gonna say, right? It's, it's somebody who's gone back and forth with something else or someone else. It could be you, it could be another person. But the page of swords here, it's somebody, either you still think about my beautiful Libras or somebody's watching you. Hmm, let's see what the cards wanna tell me. I have uh, the hanged man showing up with the hang with the hermit, the hanged man and the hermit, two big major arcanas in your energy. You have withdrawn. You feel upside down about a situation and you are trying to just find your clarity here, man. You know, the hanged man is about feeling stuck, even though you're really not from your thoughts, but with the hermit here, big Virgo energy, you are finding your answers. You've, be, you've just withdrawn. And then I have big Taurus showing up, the Hierophant. Wow. With you showing up, Justice. You guys, current energies right now, man. It's something that's wounded you and hurt you. With a, You saw a new truth, a new clarity to it. Going back and forth with that Three of Cups. Mm. And then the Page of Swords. It's somebody that maybe you still talk to a little bit, still watches you or you still think about. And it could be all three of the above because I do have it with Three of Cups. And that's what I'm feeling. Boy, left you feeling a little upside down. They wounded you and hurt you. You had a new truth with it. You know, the hermit with the hanged man. And then I have two more major arcanas in your current energy and you are showing up with justice. That is your major arcana. The Hierophant, Taurus energy, but it's about climbing to a higher belief in spirituality because you know that you are standing in your own truth and, and with justice. This is who you are. You're always about justice, Libra. Things better be fair and honest. You don't want to mess with a Libra right now. I'm going to look at what is opposing you, Libras. That sounds like something you've been going through. I'm going to look at the crossing energies for the sign of Libra, please. Spirit guides, crossing energies for the sign of Libra. One shuffle, I'll begin. I know, if you get that last card out with the Hierophant, mm -hmm. you don't mess with the Libra when you get that point. I know you guys, I have a really close friend that's, when you push her to that point, mm. okay, Spirit Guides, the posing energies. 
Thank you. Crossing my Libras that this reading is for. Thank you. Crossing energies. Thank you. That is opposing my Libras right now, please. What else do you want to show me about the crossing energies? Hmm. Show me what else I need to see. Opposing forces. Done. Huh. Bottom of the deck, I have uh, the sun showing up with the three of wands, the knight of cups, and they have a whole new truth and clarity too with the ace of swords. <laughs> I have the sun as major arcana for Leo with the three of wands, uh, a lot of optimism about the, whatever you, whoever you've been dealing with feels that their ship will come in. And then I have the knight of cups, you know, the knight on a mission of love, determined to get my Libras back. That's the knight on a mission to give you that cup of love. What's on my lap? Who's sitting here? I have Ace of Wands, uh, you know, it's a uh, brand new beginning with determination, inspiration, creativity, but I have the Two of Coins showing up with the Three of Cups, and then I have big Leo energy showing up again, Libras. The King of Wands is the King of Determination, and what I'm feeling from this is Someone I told you still has a lot of optimism about their ship's going to come in. They're going to be on a mission of love. You know, um, with the Ace of Swords here, they have a new truth too. You both have it. King of Wands is that king determined to win and conquer. It's Leo. Ace of Wands, passionate brand new beginning, going back and forth. You know, with that Three of Cups here, it could be about deciding which uh, way they want to go because underneath all that under the deck and their energies oh shit I have the seven cups and I have you showing up I don't know I feel that someone's trying to decide you know I mean maybe you know with the two of pentacles in your energy you feel a little juggled here you know with somebody that uh, maybe is still communicating with you or you're still thinking about in the opposing energies, I have the Eight of Swords with the Queen of Coins. And let's take a new leap of faith with the Fool. <laughs> fool. <laughs> you know, listen, energies can be moved around. And if you're a cross-watcher, same thing. The Queen of Pentacles is Earth, Virgo. But it's the Queen of... Uh... <sighs> Sorry. Oh. Really knowing or, or believing that they know their self-worth but at the same time this person whoever you're dealing with is really caught up in these these thoughts of fear you know and with the fool here this is the zero major arcana about starting over i know i got that knight of cups here with the three of wands someone's waiting for their ship to come towards them they're on a mission to offer that cup of love i'm going to look at what is coming in those are opposing energies Mm. Let's see what is coming in for my Libras. Bear guides, next few weeks. I mean, these two cards are staring at me under the deck. You know, the Seven of Cups with my Libra. Mm. Trying to decide. Okay. All right, Spirit guides. And you're standing over here in your energies with that Hierophant. I mean, that is like this earthy energy it's Taurus energy of determined to get to that higher level of commitment and faith and belief and you want everything fair all right spirit guides what's coming in for my libras i'm sorry <laughs> i get carried away i know it i'm sorry spirit guides what do we have coming in for the sign of libra please what do you want to show me up to around september 15th what energies are coming in thank you thank you for the sign of libra what would you like to show me for the sign of Libra, please? Energies coming in for the sign of Libra. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that's beautiful. I have the fool under the deck. Here we go with the three of wands coming in. It's somebody who wants to take a new leap of faith. Posing energies, waiting for their ship to come in. Opposing, yes, yeah, this is an opposing. Waiting for their ship to come in so they could offer that cup of love. And then I have the world coming in. Uh-oh. 
to completion of a cycle to start a new one. And I got some new eager love, new eager love, the page cups. Hmm. Interesting. And then under that, I have the Knight of Coins. Well, you know, maybe I'll just offer something more stable with Crossroads and a Rude Awakening. Hmm, Libras, I think you guys are like standing in this power of everything better be fair. I can't help it. You're right here and you're right over here. To my left is the uh, Five of Cups in reverse. You know, somebody wants to turn that sadness upside right. I mean, you know, up, up right side, whatever. They want, to, they want to turn things around. I have the sun in reverse, uh, Leo energy. Somebody's losing a lot of optimism. And coming in is a whole lot of happiness with the emperor in reverse. Somebody's losing power. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> Somebody's losing power because you are standing in this right now. Justice and the Hierophant. That's big, strong power. Of everything being fair with faith and commitment to something. Emperor in reverse coming in. Somebody's lost power. You know, with the Ten of Cups here, it's about the ultimate happiness. Uh, someone's losing a whole lot of uh, optimism and they don't want to dwell on their lost love anymore. It could be you. I've got a few more cards here. I have the Queen of Pentacles showing up again with the Nine of Swords in reverse and the Five of Wands upright. The Queen of Pentacles is the queen of knowing your self-worth, knowing that you're worth every penny and then some. And I'm not just talking about money. I'm talking about just standing in this power of the Queen of Pentacles. You know, and with the Nine of Swords in reverse, I feel there's a lot of like determination and stubbornness. I don't mean in a bad way for everything to be fair in your world. And what I feel from this is you're going to be in this power done up at night thinking about something, you know, that's hurt you and determined to have your stability because you know your self-worth. Five of Wands, last card out, is there is going to be some conflicts here. You know, I think that, um, I don't know, the Queen of Pentacles was in their energy too, getting caught in their thoughts, wanting to take a new leap of faith. You know, um, you both have the two of pentacles. I just feel like if this is going to resonate with you, it's like both of you are going back and forth about this, you know, and with this showing up, I just kind of feel like there's going to be some clanking of the wands before you get what you want. You know, it's what I really feel because I, I just see you all over this reading. Justice, 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 the queen of pentacles twice. And with the Hierophant showing up, that is earthy, strong energy, you know, knowing that you're going to get to that higher level of whatever you're after. It could be anything, you know, having the faith and belief, knowing everything will be fair. I'm going to get one or two cards for you from the Archangel Power Tarot cards. I keep seeing that fool with that Eight of Swords and the opposing energies. It's like someone wants to get caught out of being, getting caught, getting out of being caught up in their thoughts. They want to start over. Spirit guides, I don't know. With you with that justice and horror in here, I don't know. Spirit guides, what would you like to tell me? So I can tell my Libras. One or two messages for the sign of Libra, please. Oof, the way those came out, I ain't gonna argue. <laughs> I'm gonna read them, they usually tie it together. I have the page of Raphael. Gentle, loving, dreamy, and open-hearted. A new emotional situation. Messages regarding relationships or social invitations. Great intuitive insights. I'm not done yet. I got the five of Michael. And then you guys, they gave you the five of Ariel. The last card out in the center coming in was the five of wands. This is going to tie it all together. Please listen. Everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness search for the silver lining and i think right now my beautiful libras are searching for the silver lining i really do believe that I have another five remember that all these fives the five of michael this situation doesn't serve you release your attachments to the outcome consider taking a more uplifting approach 
I don't know. Maybe it's just not standing in such stubborn energy. I don't know. But uh, this is what I have for you today, Libras. I think it uh, was a pretty clear and cut message here. If you guys enjoyed it, please remember to uh, like, leave me a comment, subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much. Thank you to all my beautiful Libras who have. Libras, have a great day and have an amazing weekend. Thank you so much.